Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about ultrasound of endometrial polyps. We will compare the ultrasound appearances of the normal uterus with the appearance of endometrial polyp. An endometrial polyp is a benign uterine mass which arises from the endometrium on ultrasound. The postmenstrual period, which is also known as the follicular phase, is best for evaluating polyps because during this phase the endometrium is thin, which makes it easier to differentiate between uterine masses and normal endometrium. However, a polyp can mimic endometrial hyperplasia on ultrasound. In endometrial hyperplasia, the endometrium becomes abnormally thickened. The image on the left is of a normal uterus. This is a transvaginal image in longitudinal plane. And the image on the right is of a polyp. A polyp can appear as a single homogeneous hyperechoic mass in the endometrial cavity. In this image, along with an echogenic mass in the endometrial cavity, we have an echoic fluid surrounding the mass. Sometimes an endometrial polyp may be surrounded by endometrial fluid. This is another image showing an endometrial polyp occupying the endometrial cavity. There is a small amount of fluid around the mass. This is another case of an endometrial polyp. We see a hyperechoic uniform mass occupying the endometrial cavity. Now we have transverse views of the uterus. This is the normal uterus in transverse plane. And over here we have an endometrial polyp. The mass is surrounded by an echoic endometrial fluid. Color Doppler is applied. Color Doppler features are very helpful in distinguishing a polyp from other uterine masses because a polyp will usually have a feeding artery which can be seen on color doppler. We see a linear structure filled with doppler signals which refers to the feeding artery, a single artery entering the polyp from the endometrium. This single linear vascular structure is the feeding artery sign seen on Doppler and the point where it enters the polyp is usually the point where there is a thin stalk connecting the polyp to the endometrium. So we can see two features here. One is the feeding artery sign and the second feature is the thin stalk or pedicle connecting the polyp to the endometrium. Here is another image which shows the feeding artery sign. It is more clear in this image. The vascularity is more prominent. This is the point where we can see the pedicle or the stalk connecting the mass to the endometrium. Some endometrial fluid can be seen around the mass. Here we have Another image showing an endometrial polyp. It is surrounded by a larger amount of endometrial fluid. This mass is larger and there is a single artery seen entering the polyp over here. This is the feeding artery sign. The feeding artery sign is also present in this image. The pedicle or stalk is over here and the artery enters the polyp. 
a single artery which enters the polyp over here so this type of appearance is of a polyp there is some endometrial fluid around the mass interrupted mucosa sign is another feature of an endometrial polyp there will be a focal disruption or interruption in the endometrial stripe the normal endometrial stripe is a thin hyperechoic line you can see a discontinuity in the stripe a focal interruption due to the presence of an endometrial polyp you can notice the interrupted mucosa sign here as well this polyp has disrupted the normal shape of the endometrial stripe bright edge sign is another sonographic feature of an endometrial polyp in this feature the edges of the polyp appear hyperechoic there is an echogenic bright rim around the polyp this occurs when the ultrasound beam is perpendicular to the polyp where the beam is perpendicular to the polyp we will see the bright edge sign so it is usually seen over here and here because the ultrasound beam is perpendicular to the polyp so there is a high degree of reflection due to optimal angle between the polyp and the ultrasound beam so that is why the edges appear brighter the bright edge is not present over here because the ultrasound beam is not perpendicular to the polyp at this point this is another image that shows the bright edge sign the bright edge sign is present where the ultrasound beam is perpendicular to the polyp which are at these points multiple polyps can also occur in some cases in this image we can see four polyps in the endometrial cavity and there is a significant amount of endometrial fluid this image is in transverse plane and it shows multiple polyps with endometrial fluid thank you so much for watching please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos